Holding on to what I know to everything I've learned What is real and fabricated? What is wrong? What is my problem? What can I get out of this world that I created? Fighting the storms in my head Don't know where I have been I'm alone, no one to turn to No one understands, shit's too complicated Sawit Budget Tricker My name is Muhammad Irfan bin Yusuf and my other two teammates is Jackson Tikang and Kasharina bin Yerosti In Malaysia, oil palm cultivation is important to generate income of for farmer in the country The increasing of palm oil price per time has opened many opportunities for farmer to start a project to land palm oil trees and for that, they should take an advantage of the available technology such as mobile application that can help them to manage and control their finance for a better result and profit. The problem with the mobile application for palm oil farmer is that it is a limited application budget tracker for oil farmer to store their data and there are still a lot of oil farm farmer who use manual entry method to track their expenses and sell information which is receipt and then farmer also have difficulties in managing their employee salary since manual entry method often leaves data loss. Hello, my name is Nasharina and I will explain our three main objectives of our application which is a big budget trigger. The first one is to collect and store the farmers on our information which is in this application can set the formal account of information uh, such as their name, their phone number, their email and uh, this application can also save the sales and expenses details. The second one is to develop an app to keep track on cost and sales which is mean this app can save the uh, sales and expenses data one is to provide a report on cost and sales. The user can review the report of the sales and expenses they have saved in this application and they can also convert the report into PDF format. So that's all for me and the next one will be Hello, my name is John Santingan Jeffrey. Um, today, I will be explaining about everything that we have in our apps, such as our app name, what our app can do, feature that we have, and then um, what software or hardware that we use to build this app. So, for the first one, our app name is Sawai Budget Tracker. As we know that um, we built this app especially for small oil farm farmer, which is personal one. And then this app can do is this app will help the small oil farm farmer to store their sales or expenses data into our database and they can retrieve the data in future without losing it. So our specialty in this app is they also can print their data, sales data or expenses data into PDF format so they can uh, share their PDF format, sales or expenses across the platform such as WhatsApp or Telegram. So this app we fully use Android Studio to create a UI such as sign up, login, dashboard, profile, sales and expenses uh, view. And then for our database, we fully use Google Firebase because this is uh, the most suitable one for create database. They connect the database into our apps. So let's go to our desktop and I will show you all the feature and UI of our app. Let's go! 
Alright, at the left side, as we can see right now, is our screen recording, and at the left side is our Firebase database. So, this is our app, it's our screen record, which is our budget tracker. If you click open, it will pop up our splash screen first, and then it will go to welcome page. So, this is our welcome page. As you can see at here, we have uh, two buttons which is sign up and sign in. So for new user, user need to sign up and for old user, user can sign in using the account. So this one I will sign up first. So as you can see at here right now, it will it has a four textbook which is email, username, phone number and password. So if the user didn't enter uh, any field, uh, any text inside this field, it will show up an error which is email can't be empty. So just need to fill it first, either to proceed. So I will use my email. Call oh, and then username. I will use my name. So phone number seven five two. And then my password will be. So after fill in the field, just simply click sign up. You can see sign up process. Please verify your email. So waiting for the email to come. Alright, as we can see, inside the notification, you see the email, click on it, and then click the link to uh, verify the account. So, it will say your email has been verified, and then go back to the app. So, you can see right here, it will redirect the user uh, to sign in page. Okay, sign in with the credential. password right click sign in so as you can see it here uh, it will bring us to a dashboard this dashboard uh, including four card view which is profile and data view and thing about us and the last one is sign out which is including five card view and if the user click profile they can edit their name right here so John to click update, you will see update successful and you can see again uh, welcome Johnson Joe the new username has been updated inside the database so I will change the phone number again All right. click update alright as you can see right here our phone number is already updated and inside this database as you can see right here this is our email just now, our password, phone number, and our uh, username that, has, that we have changed just now. So, the next one is how to add data. So, for new user, just simply click add data after login. From the dashboard, click add data and then select either they want to add sales or add expenses. So, at here, I will try to add expenses first. So sell order number. Uh, for example, inside the receipt, uh, nine five eight seven six, and then the date is December December ten twenty twenty one. So at here you say ratio number, and the unit price is forty six ringgit and the quantity is free so if they already fit in all of this just simply click total and it will uh, automatically calculate the price for each sir. so click total as we can see right here with the button it already changed said that rm 138 so if we click save it will say success and as we see inside this database it will uh, appear a new child which is expense and as we can see, it will uh, come out with sales order number as the primary key. And then the data will be added inside here. So, the next one is add sales. So, how to add sales? Just simply click add sales after we click add data from the dashboard. Add sales. So, vehicle number is QMF. Five one nine, and the ticket number is 
two, zero, four, three, one, two. And then the GRN number it will be eight nine four five five three zero. So the material will be FFB or FAB depend on uh, the the mill. So as we can see right here, the depth is twenty three. 3 November 2021. Just click on like that. Click price per ton. Price per ton will be 865. Gross weight is 2500. 2500. And then the pair is 0. So if you click net, it will automatically count the original original weight uh, for the net so it, if you click it it will pop up a new kg inside the button which is 1410 which is gross minus by tear it will be net which is 1410 g and then if you click total price it will appear a new text which is told the price exactly a net price of our uh, sawit just now uh, because we already put right here our uh, uh, how you can say that uh, price per ton and then just click submit sales we will say save data success check with database a new chart will appear right here for sales and here as you can see ticket number is the primary key and the data will be saved here so how user uh, retrieve their data so just simply go back to the dashboard click view and print right here and then click either they want to print sales or expense as we can see here uh, the data that we have at just now so as we can see right here so for our total set is now is kmf 5199 for vehicle number user also can choose a uh, month and that depend if they already insert their data inside this month so in this case i don't add so how to print the data so if you already go into view and print click sales as we can see there there is a print button here just simply click it and allow the permissions to assess our storage just click on allow access go back to the app and there it is this is uh, the uh, receipt file that already be generated by our app so if you can see right here, it will be including a name, phone number, and vehicle number, ticket number, and GRN number. So material gross there, net, and price time. So it will populate the total price and then display total price uh, below the receipt. And then the date. If you want to save it uh, inside the storage, just simply click save PDF. Save as PDF. Uh, the very bottom of the uh, app just simply click it it will say pdf generated successfully how to find the pdf just click here click internal storage go to the very bottom of our internal storage as you can see here this is our app that we have generated just now it generated by our sales id so the name of the file will be our uh, sales ID. So if you click it, so you can see here, this is our receipt for being this now. All right. So for the next one is uh, about.
about us so this is about us about us page will be including our app name this project is originally made by us and then our name and our matrix number and then our supervisor them so ending and new new art. thank you so much for guiding us if press break it will go back and then i will show you how to uh, add data on different month so i will add expenses this all the number the date is on november 4 2021 right on november can you say but to what and the unit of price is one ringgit so quantity it will be 500 in total it will about 500 ringgit and if you click save it will say success so inside database there will be two uh, sales order which is just now to bata and ratchet input so for this uh, ratchet input as we can see our debt is on 10 12 2021 so our next one is our debt is 4 11 2021 so november and december 2021 so if we click to entry expenses and we, we will see they have two data inside so if user want to view the only december 2021 data just simply select uh, the date on the date picker and then click ok and it will appear the only data in that month and then if you click on november 2021 say batu bata okay just click print save as pdf so that's what a small oil pump pump can do for uh, with our app it's easy to use and there's no need a lot of uh, things that user have to do so if user want to sign out sign out from the app just simply click the sign out button and it will go back to this welcome page alright that's all thank you